Hello and welcome to White Gloves Reviews Anything. In this video, we're going to take a look at three of Spyderco's knives. In this case, the Bug, the Honey Bee, and the Grasshopper. Now, these three knives are, they're more keychain knives than anything else. And they're actually pretty inexpensive. Let's take a look at them one at a time. We'll tackle the first one first, the, the smallest one first. In this case, this is the Bug. And this is a little bitty knife. And as you can probably tell, it's pretty small. Um, compared to say a quarter, like so. Now, the, the, the bug is 1995 is the, it's the manufacturer's suggested retail price. Um, you can find these cheaper than that Amazon has them for a bit less, and I'll include a link down below if you're interested. Now, there's one concern with these three knives, and Spyderco has done this with a lot of its um, more budget knives. These knives are made in China, and this kind of surprised me a little bit, but I did a little research, and Spyderco makes knives in China, Italy, Japan, Taiwan, and the United States and although China doesn't have a great reputation for knives these are pretty nice looking little knives I don't know if you can see it or not let me see if you can see the the seams are very very tight right here and you can see if you adjust a little bit they show up more but I mean this is a very nicely put together little knife I think that it's good for a keychain, or maybe if you wanted to have just a teeny knife somewhere, like maybe you wanted it on a necklace or something, I think it's a good choice. Or if you wanted to include it in like a little survival kit as the backup, backup, backup knife. I've seen people talking online about this is a knife that they can carry in places where they have very strict knife laws and like it has to be under two inches and in this case the blade is 1.27 inches according to Spyderco's website this is a very very light knife too it only weighs 11 grams or 0.4 ounces it's about three inches open overall and it's a little bit over an inch and a half closed now, the blade steel is 3CR steel, and this is not a super expensive kind of steel, but I think it's probably not bad considering that this is going to be a knife that you just use a little bit. I think this would be great for opening boxes, opening packages, that kind of thing, or if you just need to like cut tape or something. If you wanted to have a knife available, I mean, this isn't going to be like a self-defense weapon or anything like that. It's kind of a keychain tool more than anything else. And so there's that one. The next one is the Honey Bee, which is a little bit larger than that one. And take a look at this one. The Honey Bee is put together very similar to the other one. These have stainless steel scales and they look they look neat. I like them. I like the way they look. They have um in this case this one has a 1.6 inch blade and so it's a little bit longer and it still gets under two inches if you were interested if local laws require that. And as you can see compared to a quarter, this is still pretty small. Still a good keychain size. Uh, in this case, this one weighs a little bit over half an ounce. There's not that much weight difference between these two. And I think that the extra little bit of size might make this one a little more useful. The last one is the Grasshopper. And this one is getting toward actually being a decent sized pocket knife. And I think this one is probably much more of a pocket knife than anything else. 
it kind of reminds me of like the old buck knives like the, the little folders that you had have years ago and I think I remember having one about this size I like this size for the knife it's still pretty cheap they they feel solidly made even though they are made in China and in this case this one is only thirty dollars for the manufacturer's suggested retail price and they're cheaper than that on Amazon I think all in all these are a neat series of knives and they do have the standard Spyderco hole and uh, I don't know they're a little small I think to try opening one handed like that you might be able to do it with practice but I cannot do it with practice I haven't been, been I haven't been practicing with them so I can't do it one handed now this is completely unrelated to the knives and I don't think it would have much of an effect because if you wanted to put the, these on a keychain you can the, the holes should be just fine for that but what happened was when I ordered these I wanted to check them out I also ordered one of the Spyderco little bead things and this lanyard will not fit through this hole I think you can run a single a single strand of paracord through one of these holes with no problems or with minor problems but these two the holes are getting awful small so you should be able to run a strand of paracord through this one I think you're going to be limited to key rings for this one and for this one because they're just they're small anyway I hope that this helps and I hope you try out these knives because if you're looking for if you're looking for very budget very affordable little knives like I think this would be a good choice for someone's first knife it's nice it's pretty sharp oh that's right it's pretty sharp and they're not too bad out of the box I mean like they're relatively sharp so they're very they're still very usable take this little baby one the bug and as you can see it's still pretty sharp one issue with the steel on these is these might need to be resharpened fairly regularly but again if you don't use them too much it won't really be an issue anyway as I was saying if you're looking for some kind of cute little folding knives possibly a keychain knife or if you're making an Altoid survival kit or that kind of thing one of these would be a great addition and I'll include links in the description below if you're interested in these knives places you can find them online um, thank you if you've enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and if you have any suggestions for other things you'd like me to review or if you want to share your opinions on what you think about these knives just include it in the comments below thank you